I'm Gabe from Newborch and today I'm going to demonstrate to you guys uh, our uh, latest tool which is called I'm for Git. It's the first step towards uh, completely uh, decentralized and uh, with proper ownership uh, Git hosting. So similar to what GitHub and GitLab are, but this is uh, completely an IPFS and on chain and it's uh, Git tooling that uh, right now consists of a remote helper so you can use actual git to use the chain and ipfs as a git hosting so similar to what github and gitlab do except this is completely on chain it has proper ownership just like nft so your codes basically stored as nfts let me show you that what i've prepared already on chain it's simple i just have an ips with id yeah zero uh metadata just says cool project has a license back to it and it has no files inside so it has no data right, uh, yet i'm going to change that soon let's uh let's come over here to the terminal so let me quickly yeah, i already have it typed let's uh init a, a, a rust project just so, so i have a couple files um let's see into that uh here we have a file we have a folder and a file inside of that folder let's get that file too there we go it's a simple function and uh so now what we do is we're going to add sorry, get remote we're going to add um a remote origin uh to to the the local git repository here and uh we're going to use the imv4 uh protocol then uh then that's going to trigger our custom uh, our custom tool to um to do all the the, the chain transactions and uh this all, all, currently we only have a single argument and it's uh yeah yes id so we add that let's um add these files to our commit let's uh, git commit i already have a couple of things over here um um, let's do git commit, initial commit, and uh, we already added the files, there we go, two files changed, 11 insertions, let's, um, let's push that, git push origin master, and uh, to do a quick cut there, because uh, I, I didn't have the, the C phrase in, in hand, but I uh, said, so, okay, I have it copied now, I'll just paste it here. And it's not going to show because uh, this is a password field. And then we just press enter and it's going to start pushing files. Now this this step can take a while because in, in this first version it's um uh, it's it's not very efficient. There's a lot of, of things we can we can do to, to make this a lot more efficient. So we could we could bundle a bunch of these uh, commits, a bunch of these uh, oh, sorry, a bunch of these git objects into a single back and mint that as, uh, at once. We could also bundle a bunch of transactions into a single batch transaction. Uh, and there's also the IPFS nodes, chain nodes, uh, those can be made a lot faster too. But just for simple demonstration now, this will do. It's, it always it always mints six, uh, sorry, uh, all the objects plus one IPF, so it's uh, five objects but six IPX because it's, it also has to mint and uh, it has to mint uh, the, the repository data and every time we uh, push uh, again we have to replace that repository data because uh, so the IPSs are basically uh, fully composable That's and this is a, a nice way to demonstrate that um, okay so it, it's all there let's go check it IMV4, IP storage. Here we go. All the files there. Now, um, sorry. Um, this is a demo folder. And now, what we're gonna do to clear this is uh, git clone. Here we go. Sorry, let's uh, go back to folder. Git clone. Let's uh, clone that into a folder called i 4 git demo cloned. Just to demonstrate that um, we can actually patch data from chip function too. It's not just a flush. And also that it is working indeed. 
Boom. Let's um copy again. Paste again. Done. Um LS. It it is there. Let's see the into I'm four gig demo cloned. LS. Let's check that file. Boom, it's all there. Now, what we're gonna do is um go back here, go to that first one, uh, and let's um first thing I do hit check out new branch. Sorry. Uh, dash B to create a new branch. Okay, now let's edit that file. Let's just change this to hello web three. Changed. Now let's push this. Let's uh, commit. Change the print, the file. Git push origin master. Copy that again. Paste that again. We're pushing the new branch. Cool. Let's paste that. Minting five IPFs. this again uh, there we go it, we can also go ahead and check uh, that they are being minted on chain so uh, all the events are here one more and also let me show the files that are there successfully appended to launch your repository. Now let's uh, roll back to that clone. And before I get demo clone, um, let's uh, get source main, hello world. Now let's um, get fetch. Let's paste that again. Boom. We found a new branch. Let's um, get that again. Hello world, and now let's uh, get check out new branch. And there we go. Hello web three. So um, the experience for the developer is the exact exact same as uh, as if we were using GitHub. Uh, the only difference is uh, right now it takes a, it takes a, a, a bit of time to mint every file, but that's that's gonna be a lot more efficient uh, in the in the next few versions. So that's it, see ya.